Okay, with this section, we're going to transform a parametric equation, which is... Like what we did with regular equations, where we did like vertical stretches and shifting and reflecting. Now we're going to say, okay, how does that work with parametric equations? And I think it's actually relatively simple. In some ways, simpler than with normal ones. You know, because you just do whatever's at the end of the thing. Yes, so anything that is affecting your graph horizontally is going to affect your oh, oh, x... Oh, oh. Your x equation. Okay, you get the next one. So vertical... Things, anything affecting vertically affects y the equation. y equation. And think about it like horizontal is x, x vertical y. is y. Um, and so let's try this out. And then reflection, just like before, affects the opposite of what you think it would. Right. If you reflect across the x-axis, well, that is affecting you vertically. Right, so that's, a, that's a y. y issue. And so if you reflect across the y axis. That's an x issue because yeah. of the relationship with everything. It should make sense, though. I mean, if you just... If you slow the brain down and think, it should make sense. Yeah, okay. So let's try this. We have, we're going to, for each of these points, we're going to write a new set of parametric equations Ugh. with the transformations they're describing. And here are our original two equations. So okay. we've got x equals t squared plus 2, y equals 4t minus 1. <laughs> it should be a parabola. You can put that in your I calculator. mean, it looks like it's going to be a parabola. So if I'm going to shift down 3 then that's not going to affect my x equation at all. No, x doesn't change at all because, hey, guess what? That's not left or right. right. So, But on my y equation, what that's going to do is it's going to make me move all my y values down 3. So instead of 4t minus 1, I'm, I'm 3 lower than that. Right. Which means, negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4. Right. So that would be 4t minus 4. Right. Um, and you can throw that into your graph like with the original, like put this in as, as x1, y1, and put these in as x2, y2, and check and see if it really works out. Okay? Right. Right? So. Did you want me to do that, or were you just telling me? No, we. I was just saying we oh, could. Oh, okay. We could do that. I was distracted. Yeah. Um, and if you don't know how to put them in the calculator, wonder, actually, after this, we'll put... You know what? We'll uh, a good app to have on your calculator is the, Des phone? Is, yeah, it's the Desmos app on your phone. Oh, it's like, a freebie. Yeah. You know what? While you're talking about the next one, I'll just make sure. I, I'll just see if I have that yet. This is what he just said. This app for... I know it's on iPhone because he's on an iPhone right now. Or is it? Maybe it's got to be. Hold on. Let me get my iPad. All right, so vertically shrink by two. So vertically is going to affect the y equation. And if we're shrinking by two, that means we're going to iPad. Take it's got all... iPad mini or bigger. Okay. Okay. All, okay. All of the um, y values, we're going to divide them by two. That's what shrinking by a half does. So right. x again won't change. Because we're not doing anything left or right. Right. So you can think of it a couple different ways. Like we could do one half. And actually, it only affects the T. I was messing with this earlier to make sure I was right. Like, we're vertically shrinking all of our, our, our Y values, and so we need to do one half times that T. We okay. don't need to mess with the minus one. Because that's where you move up or down from. Right. Because right. If, you, if you do the one half times the minus one, then now that only now moves you a half yeah. instead of one. So yeah. I, I get that makes sense. So Y equals... 2t minus 1 because we're taking our y values and we're shrinking them by a half but we aren't moving the place where they start which was negative 1. Okay so how about c? Reflect across the x-axis and horizontally stretch by 3. Okay. So So if we're going to reflect over the x-axis then that's really more of a vertical situation than, a, than a, 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 a left-right one. So yeah. that so, means that we're going to have to have a, a negative of the t term well and actually well, in this case it does change the whole thing which I what know that's, it changes the I whole know thing that's weird but if if we're going to reflect it's going to change all of our y equation well it you're totally the whole right equation yep it's negative. a good thing that you're sitting next to me because I, I might have not got that quite correct in my explanation and if you were to type this in the calculator you could type it in exactly like i have right. it written or you could distribute the negative e either way yeah. either way but you think about it though if you're at negative one and you reflect Boom. Now you're at positive one. Yes. And now horizontally stretching by three means we just take the t term and multiply it by three. Right. So that makes it be three t squared. Right. Plus two. Plus two. See, look how much I almost feel really honestly feel like this is way easier than some of the other Absolutely. translation. You know, like it's hard to translate an x squared plus four x plus one. 
Yeah. That's that's difficult to move around, but these guys you just have to you just got to do the right coordinate. You just have to know that that you're affecting the T term only unless right. you're reflecting right. and then it it really makes it pretty easy. So here let's do a whole bunch of stuff. Like oh this. my, there's like three things yeah. there. We're going to shift Oof. left 5 up to vertically stretched by 3 halves. So I don't know, I can't even count to three halves. Is that like so one, two? What's affecting our x equation is the left, left five. Left, anything left or right. And that's it. That's These it. other two are the y. Now, one thing with this um, left and right business is that when we normally translate, we always have to like do an opposite situation. Right. It's a super secret opposite society. But that doesn't apply here. We're taking all of our x values that we have, which right now are t squared plus two. And we're, and moving, we're them all. moving them all yeah. to the left five. Well, here's the other thing with the super secret opposite society. We're talking about things inside of parentheses. Right. Also. There's, there's no parentheses, parentheses here. here. So that's another way to remember that rule. Okay. So that would be t squared minus 3. All right. Um, these other two things are going to affect our y equation. We've so got a combo. Up two, but we're also vertically stretching by 3 halves. Right. So that'll be... So the up two part goes on its own because we, if you multiply the two by 3 halves, that is not going to be two anymore. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 It'll be so we do three. these separately. The vertical stretch comes here in front of the t. Right. The up two is going to affect this minus one. Right. Right. So this equation, we do four divided by two is two. Two times three is six, and the negative one plus two is plus one. Yeah. And uh, totally give this a try and make sure that all like you can actually visually see that these things are happening. Right. Uh, go ahead and write that calculator back up there. You oh. scribbled it out. So oh. Desmos. If, 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 if you have uh, an iPad or if you have uh, a tablet or if you're on your computer, this website, desmos.com, or the Desmos app is brilliant for graphing. Pretty simple, stupid I love graphing. the website. Like, it's so very if you're great. ever at home and you have a computer and you right. don't have your, your grapher with you, well, that you're you got with. one. You got Desmos. one right there. Yeah, it's excellent. Okay.